Hey YouTube, Prepper John here, and as always, with Monkey Vader, we're so, so sad we, we tried to do it, but it did not work, so, and we're really, really sad that happened, Yes. Yeah. and we already looked for the battle box, we know, like, entirely in it, I made my only trap. So this is battle box version two, uh, the battery died on my shotgun mic in version one, so we have to reshoot this. And what do you have to say about BattleBox? I love BattleBox, don't you? Of course. Everybody loves BattleBox. So Mission 28 showed up today and uh, all the stuff in here is unpacked because like I say, this is take number two. So um, aside from the packing, everything else is in here and we're going to go back through this, huh? And talk about it again. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and open her up. This is Mission 28 with the big car. Urban Survival, which is a mission that a lot of people have been wanting, waiting for. Um, I know I was waiting for it. Uh, great kit. I knew Thumbs that. down that we have to redo this. Thumbs down that we have to redo this. Yeah, but thumbs up because we get to talk about BattleBox even more, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I knew when Daniel and the gang put this together that they were going to spend a lot of time and they were going to do it right. And let me tell you what, they definitely did. Um, I was blown away by this box. Um, I've got the advanced box here, which is the, the mid-level box. Um, there's Above that is Pro and then Pro Plus, the knife of the month, which I couldn't do this month, so we just got the advanced. But... The advanced will knock your socks off. It's it's an incredible box. And then the Pro and Pro Plus, just like always, great, great additional items. And I'll talk about them. Um, I can't can't show them, but I will go ahead and talk about them. And let's get started with this. Basic, of course, Battle Box, $24.99 cost. This month, $94.89 value. So you're getting four times the value for your money. Um, remember, I'm going to use that pump and test it out. Yeah, okay. After this video. Yes, we know. So, the first thing in the basic box is a knife. Awesome. Love a good knife. And this is a good knife. This is the Kershaw Shuffle Folding Knife. It's a small EDC blade. You see it's got a built-in bottle opener, which is always handy mm -hmm. when you want an adult beverage. It's got a lanyard hole or a punch. It's sharpened. You could use that as a, a flathead screwdriver. And it's a nice little liner lock, sheep's foot. Knife. Knife. Really can't Dad, see Dad, Dad, I said what knife. the steel Dad, is on you. that. Yes, I know. I can't read what the steel is on it, but um, I'm sure it's a, a stainless. It's a nice little finger trolls on it, a nice little EDC lizard. And this is a $13.47 value. Not the most expensive knife, but it is a decent little knife. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, carry this for a few days. No, let's not mess around. Cutting on Daddy Shimog. And uh, see how I like this. It's got a finger troil there, multiple places to hold your hands. So it's decent, it's, it's comfortable in the hand. So I'll test it out for a few days and, and see how I like it. And go from there. I mean, it's a knife and it's a Kershaw. So, awesome, great stuff, good name. Um, looks to be a pretty quality knife, and, and for that price, I mean, if this works out okay, polish. you might. I'm wearing my nail polish. To pick up a couple of these just just to have because it's. Yesterday. I mean, it feels like a nice, decent little knife. So we'll test when that sucker play? out and see how it goes. So again, thirteen forty-seven value. Mm -hmm. Next in the box is something that is unbelievably important. Everyone should have one of these, and if you subscribe to BattleBox, you have one now. It is a Silcox key. This is a four-way wrench. So you use this if you like, if you're out in the city, and and if and if you kind of get lost in the city, you uh -huh. can't like like you can, and you're really thirsty. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can you can use it in the building. You can use it so you get in the building and. 
And you see there's like this water thing, but you need a key to unlock it. It's this key, and then you unlock and get a drink of water. Exactly. And you can close it too. Yes. How awesome is that? Uh huh. You know exactly what that's for. That is so cool. Wait, Dad, I know what it's for because, you know, we did this video. Yeah. Well, you, you remembered it, and that's awesome. Yes. So every time you see that, you're going to know what that's for. Mm -hmm. And if anything ever happens and you have one of those with you, you can get a drink of water, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very, very important. Yes, it is. And, and that's awesome that you remember that. I mean, Daddy's very proud you of you. You can put it like this, or you can put it like this. Yeah, it's got four different sizes, depending on, on what, what the building is set up for. Because, you know, in a... Who pits the fan scenario? Power's out, water's not flowing, but most buildings that are multiple levels, the pipes are going to be full of water. And you have a water outlet on the outside of the building on the ground floor, so gravity is going to make the water flow, even though there is no water pumping. So if there is any residual water left in the pipes, if you use this and turn it on, because Every building has a hose bib, just like you have at your house, only they don't have the little turning handle because people will walk up and turn the water on. You don't want some bum coming up and washing his feet or doing whatever, wasting your water when you're a, a business owner. So you lock it and you need a Silcox key to unlock them. So that's called a Silcox key. Yep, Silcox key! Yes, exactly. And very important. Good thing to have just in case so you can get in and get water. And that yeah. is a an eight dollar yeah, so and eighty nine cent value. Which, so you don't have to drink like you know if people like just get the water in, and they kind of like like you know like if they sp inside the thing mm -hmm. and they'll get germs. You know that's very important yes. to know. So that's why bad guys don't get battle box. Yeah. Very important. Yeah, only good guys get battle box. Huh? Uh huh. Yeah. And and that really like it. Yes, Battle Box is awesome. Yeah, especially us, because Dad always shares the Battle Box with me. Of course. But but he, you, but remember when you didn't share Battle Box with me? Well, that was only the first couple ones, and then we started doing them together. Yes. Yeah. Because you realized... Well, I didn't think you were excited about them, but then I saw you were excited, so we started doing them together. Yeah, you saw you... Did I say I wanted to do Battle Box? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. So next we have an EDC pocket tool, which is a $7.99 value. Dad, that's why we did it, because we really want, because it makes it makes our channel more better, right? Well, of By course, sharing it. Yes, because we're sharing it and we get to spend time together and we get to talk about gear. And mm -hmm. you learn stuff, stuff that is very important. Yes. Because if, if bad stuff happens and we're stuck out in the city, you know you could take this and go get a drink of water. You learn that, and you'll never forget that. So that's very, very important. That's why Daddy likes doing this with you, because you're you're learning stuff that and is very you're, important. You're learning how to survive. Exactly. From from the woods to the city. Yes, and it, it Battle Box makes that possible for us, huh? Mm -hmm. Because there's stuff that we do in the woods, right? Remember we built the shelters and everything? Yes. And now we're learning about how to survive in the city with this one. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It, so this should be called city care. Well, yeah, it's this, urban this, survival. Urban means city. Survival, that means how to survive in the city. City survival. Yep. But it should be city. Well, urban, that's what that means is city. City. Survival. But it's supposed to be city. But um, urban means city. That's a yes. It's supposed. But I want it to be city. Um, learning. That would be cool. Like you can like sit city learn survival, learning how to survive in the city. Yes. That's 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 what the battle box is called. Yeah, yeah. That's what those words mean. Just in other words. So next we've got the EDC pocket tool. It comes with a nice little kydex sheet. This is a nifty little tool. Monkey's gonna pull it out. Careful of the blade, honey. It's got a nice little blade edge on it. And a of flat course, screw drip. and of course, What's a that? bottle, a bottle opener. Of course. I have a blade. Got your eye. <laughs> we gotta have a bottle opener. Of course, uh, 
There's a cord cutter or a seat belt cutter. You know they would love to drink and beer. An, an oxygen, <laughs> an oxygen rich tool. The kids do not like to. No. Yeah. It's yucky. Yeah, it's yucky for you. It's good for daddy's and mommy's home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy so a nifty, nifty little EDC tool. Sorry, I was making that nice voice. Nice Kydex case. Keychain. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and I'll put this in the EDC rotation and carry it around. Uh, see how useful it is. Dad, Dad. Always need a flathead screwdriver or. Uh, this little blade would be great for cutting open boxes or whatnot. So I'll go ahead and start carrying this around and okay. see how it does along with this Kershaw so, knife so and what, uh, what you're mix that into my EDC. This thing. So you know, you see, then then you use this click, then 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 click, turn it off. Yep. Done. Very good. So next is the Readyman Lock Blocker Access Denial Card. And it comes ready, man. Went ahead and they made a nice little vinyl I'll, carrying I'll case sheet. No, oh. Let go because it's it's fragile. I don't want the pieces to break inside of it, babe. Um, to carry the cards, I've got a bunch of ready, man cards, and looks like I can th throw a few of them in here. But this is a unique thing that they um, yeah. Click. designed when Click. Daniel told them that uh, he was doing Click. this box. Ready, man, Click. put this together, and what this is is two different pieces. What you do is you slide the arrow looking piece right there, the top one slides into a lock and it captures on the pins and it disables the lock. So you can't use a key, you can't pick it. And then the bottom part slides in underneath of it and blocks the pins so that you can pull it out. Now it might not come out and Ready Man warns not to test this on a lock that you don't want permanently disabled just in case it does not come out. But in a uh, poop hit the fan scenario, say you, you've, you're trying to get home, you're you know, 50, 60, 70 miles from home, you find a abandoned convenience store, you go in for the night, you pop one of these in, turn the lock on the inside and you're gonna be secure. It's gonna take force to get in, which is gonna wake you up, alert you to a presence. No one's gonna be able to use a key or pick the lock and get in on you silently, they're definitely gonna to have to use force to open the door, which is gonna alert you of your pre their presence, which is gonna give you time to react. So definitely a, a nifty little thing, and uh, a lot of thought went into this, I can tell, because that is a, a very unique item, uh, and I'm glad I've got it. I'm, I hope I never have to use this, because if I do have to use it, that means we're in utter chaos and the world's gone to crap. And yeah. if I do have to use it, I'll be glad that I have it because then I know that myself and my family will be safe and secure and someone's gonna have to use force to, to enter the place that we've got secured for us. But something I'll just carry with me, hope I never have to use, but if I do need it, this could save your life. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, Ready Man. Awesome little product. That's a $12.95 value. Nope, nobody can. It, no keys can go in the lock. It makes it so no one can use a key. They would have to break the door down, which would make a lot of noise, and then Daddy would know they're there, and then he could beat up the bad guys. So it keeps the bad guys from getting in when it's quiet, and they could sneak in. But they'd have to avoid your traps first, because you would make traps, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, Dad, but what if we lock or so? But... Even us can't, we can't even, we can't get out? No, we would make it so we could turn the lock and unlock it. You know how our doors, you turn the lock and it locks? Yeah. But on the outside you have to use a key? Well, mm -hmm. no one could use a key, but we could turn the lock on the inside. So we can get in and out and we could lock the door, but no bad guys could get in. So that's pretty cool, huh? But, but then how do we get, how do we get back in? Well, we would keep the door unlocked, honey. Get in. Well, they wouldn't get in because we would be outside and we would know if they came in. Oh. But when we're inside, then they can't get in. So next we've got the manual fuel oil hand pump. And this is an awesome little piece of kit. 
everyone should have one of these. Um, anyone that's ever siphoned gas with your mouth so, knows it sucks. So when you get gas in your mouth, it tastes terrible. You suck it into your lungs. It's horrid. Uh, this is a $12.95 value. Right. It's a little pump that you can pump gas, oil, diesel. Yeah. If you use it for some of those, then you want to keep it for gas, oil, diesel. You could use it to pump water. You can use it to just pump air. It comes with fittings. You can fit it on you bike tires. Can you can blow up air mattresses with it. If you can do tired, all sorts of stuff mouth, with it. You can just open your mouth, put the, suck the stuff in, and then, then it comes in, out. Yeah. So you could suck up like chocolate syrup and squirt it in your mouth or melted chocolate. Soda, yeah. Ice cream. Okay, but after this, I'm going to test it on some water. Because that's healthy for you, right? Yeah, I don't think we want to drink straight out of this, honey. It'd, I mean, if we pull, sucked water with this, we would want to filter it and uh, decontaminate it and everything. Because this probably has some oil on the inside. You know, it might not be uh, drinkable water. So, but but we could use it to get some water and we would put it in a container and then we would we would uh, add some tablets to it or boil it so that we could drink it and it would be safe but we want, wouldn't want to drink straight from this we would put it in something and then treat the water but we would be able to pump water if we needed to and then we have other stuff that thanks to battle boxes water purification box remember the water box we had we have all the stuff we need to make the water safe to drink because Battle Box gave that to us in one of their missions. When? Uh, it was about four missions ago. Remember we had the water one? It had the collapsible water containers that we used and it had a camelback and okay, water but, treatment tabs. So you'll, you'll do that. You'll, you'll, you'll go ahead and do that and then put it in here so I can actually drink it. Please do it. Not tonight, honey. It's getting late because we're already on version number two of this video, but we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do that at some time, okay? We'll break out the water kit and then we'll purify some water. So again, the, the manual fuel oil hand pump. But first uh, I want to test it. 1699 sure. value, or 16.99 cost. Dad. The value is indispensable. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a, like a little string backpack or something and throw it in my pack just to have it to siphon fuel or whatever I need to first, whenever the I, need arises. First, I'm gonna so pretend, great product. I'm going to like, like get some water, suck it up, then I'm going to just squirt it out outside tonight. Okay, no, not tonight because it's already dark out, honey. It's 10 o'clock. But we can do it out of the rain barrels to test it out with some water that we won't drink, but we can squirt, okay? When? Uh, probably tomorrow after work. Can you at least cut up the watermelon? Not right now, it's 10 o'clock, honey. Okay. And next we've got a folding shovel and trenching tool with a pouch. Okay. And Monkey Vader has already put this through its paces. She's been outside. She dug some traps. You want to tell about your traps while I open this up? It's a, just a big hole. That does, it, it's, it's just, I just took some dirt out really. It doesn't look like a hole, but I, I will squirt some water on it. Tomorrow. And what's the water gonna do? What's it gonna make it turn into? Quicksand? No, Dad, let me screw it on. And I really need this to use this on that first. To get it like a bigger, because it doesn't really look at, like a hole at all. It looks nothing like it, and it's not even a hole. I just, and it looks like, and it just has some, just some dirt taken out. Okay. So I really need that tool on it, Dad. But this is a nice little collapsible e-tool. Um, as you can see, it's got a shovel head, a serrated edge. What's that? Bottle opener. Of course, another bottle opener. Wait, how many awesome. bottle openers were they? That's three we've got so far. How cool is that? No, actually then we can four. open No, three. The knife, the keychain tool. And this, there's three bottle openers. Dad, I really, really need this. Yes, well, we'll, we'll worry about that tomorrow. Yeah. But you see it's got 
a spike. It's your standard e-tool. Seems fairly well built. I know Mucky went out and put it through the paces. Found her, she was hacking at the ground like it was an ax. So, and it's showing no worse for the wear. So, it's definitely kid tested. But you can uh, set this up in different configurations. You can dig like a spade. Um, you can tighten it down to where it's like a pickaxe. Uh, you can set it up as a shovel, as a pick. So it's a nice little tool. It's nice and light and seems pretty well constructed. And it's Monkey Vader tested. I just need to test that out. Yeah, you gotta test the spike out. Mm -hmm. So a nifty little tool. And uh, that's a $24.60 value. And then of course you get the Ready Man Basic Membership. Uh, it's a $10 value, but it's free in the basic box, and that brings your basic value to $94.89. So almost four times what you spent, you get all of this stuff, the e-tool, the pocket tool, nice little Kershaw knife, ready man card, the fuel pump. So an awesome, awesome Is basic that? box. That's in the advanced box. It's next. Oh, sorry. So incredible basic box and now on to advanced and the first thing there is the ready man gray man pack which is a nice backpack uh, it's got dual zippers on each side so you can access it through the side it does top load it's got a big pocket inside of it you can fill up. It's got a lot of nice space to it. Um, got elastic on the front and inside the the flap you've got PALS webbing so you can go ahead and put some Molly attachment packs inside here. Fold it in or tucked away inside. Um, on the back sides it's got a, a small through pouch that you can see there goes all the way through. Um, you could use that to store a concealable weapon or something else. Uh, it's got D-rings. Nice padded back that's ventilated so give you some air. Um, for all nice nice pack it's uh, listed as a $40 MSRP. Uh, totally worth $40. Uh, Ready Man really did did their research on this pack and uh, put out a quality product. It's going to be very nice. It's uh, not necessarily minimalist, but it is definitely gray man. It doesn't stick out and scream, I'm tactical, I have gear. Uh, but it definitely has enough room inside of it to store a bunch of gear, whatever you need. And uh, we've already thought of a specific use for this. We have a season passes at the local amusement park and this is going to be our the day pack that I, I carry there. It should fit everything that we need, our flip-flops and sunglasses and that type of stuff in there and carry it around. I was using a um, 511 Rush 24 pack but any of you that are familiar with that it's got tons and tons and tons of space inside of it, tons of zippers and openings and when you go into the amusement park they have to check every single one of them because God forbid you carry in a pack of uh, peanut butter and cheese or last time it was a pack of graham crackers that we had to throw away at the entrance. So, you know, you can't feed your kids snacks. You have to, you can't bring that in. But they had to check every single pouch inside the backpack. It made it terrible to get inside. And it's like, you know, it's mainly just towels and flip flops and some sunglasses and chapstick. And, you know, God forbid a pack of graham crackers. But this should, take care of it and make it much easier for them to search so we can get into the park quicker. But Ready Man, awesome job. Uh, it's got their logo on the front and it's it's subdued. You can still see it and it's, it's really cool. So great job, Ready Man. This is an awesome pack. I can't wait to put it to use as soon as we get back to uh, our local amusement park. And it seems I've lost Monkey Vader. It's getting late. And uh, again, this is version number two. So she's... No, well, kind of three, yeah, because she did her own review that didn't turn out either. We're having trouble with the videos tonight, but we're going to press on and keep going. 
So next in the advanced box is the Ontario Knife Company Parapry. And this is a first release, which is really cool. So us BattleBox subscribers are getting this first. Um, it's a six inch bar of what looks like uh, 3 16 1074 steel. It's got a chisel edge ground into it. It's not sharp, but it is edged um, to where you could get in and pry. And this is designed to get in and, and pry. Again, 1074 steel, so it's going to be uh, nice and strong, but it's not going to be brittle. So, uh, good choice of steel for a pry bar. And then this also comes with a six foot hank of paracord from Paracord Galaxy that is free. And this is a really nice, it's a black and gray to, to fit the uh, urban survival theme so that you can go ahead and do a, a paracord handle on this since this is the, the Parapry. You can wrap paracord handle on it. Um, what I think I'm gonna do, like my friend uh, Gray Fox said he was gonna do, he's gonna go ahead and put a handle on his. I think I'm going to as well. I've got some uh, gray and black micarta that I made up for a knife that I designed um, called the Gray Man Fighter that has that micarta on it. I think I'll go ahead and put that gray and black micarta on this and maybe fashion up a, a little kydex sheath for it. So that'll be pretty cool. And the, uh, the Gray Man Fighter, stay tuned because it is a specially designed blade um, for Battle Box that I'm going to hopefully be doing a giveaway with Battle Box for. So stick around and you'll you'll see this uh, fighter if you're if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook you've already seen the knife um, finishing off the sheath now and then I'm gonna get it shipped off to, to Daniel and uh, we're gonna do something pretty special with that uh, knife and uh, one of the one of the battle box subscribers is gonna end up with that uh, hand forged custom crafted blade so again uh, the uh, Ontario Knife Company Parapry, first release, so really cool. We're the first ones to get our hands on this, a neat little pry bar. Awesome, and that's a $24.95 retail cost. Definitely well worth it, it's a nice hunk of steel. Go in the kit for, when you need it, this again is another tool that's, that could save your life. It could get you in or out of a jam if you need, so very important tool. Now the Pro Box is a $99.99 cost and this month it is a $269.79 value and it has another product from Ontario Knife Company, the Quick Access Breacher with Micarta Scales and it is also a first release. And this one's kind of neat because it was designed by uh, Daniel Dabbs, CEO of BattleBox and he talked with Ontario Knife Company and they went ahead and did the tooling on it. And got it done it is also 1074 steel and it's about twice the size of this but it is another awesome pry bar that uh dan designed it's it's got a large finger choil on the front a small finger choil on the back so it fits your hand very well and neat tool it's a 99 dollar 95 cent retail cost so if you are a pro member, you got that in your box. So if not, um, I don't know when Ontario is going to release it to the general population, but for now it's a, uh, a first release just for battle box members. Then on to the pro plus the knife of the month club, $149 99 cent value or cost this month. It's a $359 and 78 cent value. And it's the off grid tools, survival Axe elite. Um, if you've watched any of the videos, you've seen it. It's also been called the Little Trucker. It's an axe, hammer, claw hammer, breaching tool. It's got 16 different, 17 different tools on it. Um, hex heads, it fix, fits apex bits. It's a glass breaker, a cord cutter. I'm sure there's a bottle, yeah, it's got a bottle opener built into it. Um, pretty much everything, uh, a Milwaukee saw blade fits into the handle. It's a hacksaw blade so you can hack your way out of stuff. Definitely a neat, neat little tool and if you're a Pro Plus member then you, you got your hands on that. But definitely a 
a home run on this box. I mean, people have been waiting for an urban survival box from Battle Box, and we knew when they did it, they were going to do it right, and they definitely did. Uh, great, great stuff. The the basic box is absolutely incredible. Four times your value, and it's all very, very usable and needed stuff. So, hats off to you, Battle Box. You guys did this month properly. Don't do that month. Um, incredible stuff. Very, very pleased with this month's box. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, EDCing and testing a lot of this stuff out. I'll probably shoot a couple videos and do some actual reviews once I've used this stuff. And I'll uh, definitely shoot shoot some videos and take some pictures um, when I handle up and kydex this, uh, this Ontario pry bar. And... Uh, get that into my packs for some use but uh, I want to thank all my subscribers I really appreciate uh, you guys watching so if you like this video give me a big thumbs up um, go and check out monkey Vader it's her channel's name just uh, search YouTube monkey Vader she's got some really cool videos and we've got some other stuff we're working on it'll be up soon um, drop down in the comments section leave me a comment let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see in the future. Um, I'll do what I can to, to keep bringing good content to you. So, till next time, I'm Prepper John, and for Monkey Vader, see ya.